What's up, y'all? Got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. So I just seen that this video dropped an hour ago, so I'm like, you know what? Let me get to it before y'all be spamming this to me tomorrow. So that way, I'm going to drop it early, and I'm going to be online. Because it's Mother's Day, and I'm a mother, all right? Or well, Mother's Day weekend. This is King. He's speaking on the situation. Let's get it. All right, you guys, so I'm back right here at this point in my life where I thought that I wouldn't have to be here at this point in 2024. Um, if you look on my channel, I deleted so many like videos, archived so many things about the past or like anything dealing with drama or anything dealing with this same situation. I just want a fresh new start on this channel and I thought we had so much good understanding. I thought we had like a lot of like growth and grownness in our lives that was going on but grownness i right. believe that it is not like that and it's so hard in my shoes as a like a, to be an adult and to be like a man between two women for one kid it's just so hard because it's like a ball going over my head of like one say one thing i want y'all to know that's in his background because i hear it and it sounds like a washing machine yep one say one thing and then when it all comes down to it I'm the bad person or I didn't take care of what I was supposed to take care of and stuff. And I think like that's really unfair in my shoes, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, I know what kind of conversation I have with people like in real life and like face to face or on the phone versus like getting online right now and having a like count a camera conversation with the folks for people to be in our business and stuff. And I think that's just like, it's like real immature in a way. Cause I just think like we shouldn't even be at this point. Cause the conversation that we have in person, it'd be a whole different topic and the understanding that we leave off of be good. And I'm back right here now about something else about still my kid that you know what i'm saying that it's just it's just something this whole situation just blown overboard information being said that i'm just hearing about just as much as y'all hearing about that i would touch on based on and elaborate on because it's just like you know she said what she said and everybody believed what she said i'm gonna listen in the beginning because uh i want to let him you know i want to let him cook Neek was cooking. I want to let him cook. What she said, it came through rocks at me. And I just really, 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 like, don't appreciate that off the fact of off camera so many times. I didn't ask, like, please don't use my name. I won't use your name. Don't mention me in any of your videos. Don't title no video using your ex, even my name, King, or whatever I got going on on my side. Because my side is my side. Your side is your side. And, um... Just to elaborate on what we're going on, it's just about my engagement party. Something that I had planned special with me and my family. I, I, I just want to clear up something right quick. Because um, a lot of people are questioning why I have a setup at my house as if I lost the office. And the reason, this is the main reason why I have a setup at the house. King put out a video. Guess why I would have had to go? The office. Yeah, that was starting to become a problem. Yep. So that's why I bought a second setup. All right. <laughs> Beyonce, we both had this special for us. You know what I'm saying? This wasn't about nobody else. This wasn't about none of the kids. It was about me and her. Now, before I get into that point, I'm going to start off with the root of it when it came to between me and her mama having a conversation about Kaiser of Clothes. Now, to start off on this, me and her talked two weeks before the engagement party. Um, I called her one of the days. Um, Kaiser was with her. He was playing with his cousin. You know what I'm saying? They was out having them time. Little having boy a little stuff. fun or whatever. Right. And me and her was on the phone. I asked her, is you coming out here anytime soon because I'm having a party? And she asked me what day, and I was like, well, it's gonna be like that next Saturday or whatever. And she was like, yeah, I'm supposed to be coming out there and so-and-so and, -so and for her own reason. Me and her reason, me and her talking, we never said anything about Neek. It was no conversation with Neek. It was nothing about Neek. It was just because me talking to her because she have she had my kid. So I asked her in the conversation, like, you know, like, hey, do you guys have um, white shirt, black slacks? Because I, you know, you know, I know he go to church with y'all. Maybe somebody cutting grass. Um, she was like, I'm pretty much sure that he probably do have it in the house. When I get home, I'ma look, I'ma look and see. I was like, okay, cool, just let me know. So our conversation kept going about Kaiser, what they was doing. She was like, I'ma hit you back when they get home, cause we finna go here now. And it was just, it was just a free conversation, just a normal conversation between me and her, and that I normally have when I call for her, when I call for Kaiser, talking to him and talking to her at the same time. Cool. Phone conversation ended on that note. She was supposed to call me back and let me know. I was waiting on that. Um, I think we talked in a week, that same week. I think that Sunday I called her again. I was talking to a Kaiser. 
we didn't bring up the situation about his clothes. We had another conversation. We were just talking, me checking on Kaiser and stuff. So after that conversation, I think the week in the in that week, I um I double back and I text like, hey, do Kaiser have um his white shirts and white slacks? Because I'm like, it's getting to that it's getting to that point. Like I was going to buy his stuff regardless anyway, but it's just like I asked and you told me you was gonna look and see. So I was waiting on that. I was waiting on that answer to be told to me. So if I had to go buy it, I would have went and bought it. If I didn't have to go buy it. I didn't have to go buy it because he had it. That's like really like simple. Like if it's co-parent, if he has something over there and I call an ex and you do have it, vice versa, if you call me if he got something over here, like so it should be exchanged. <laughs> I could send it to y'all. I could send it to y'all and y'all could send it to me. It shouldn't have been like a problem or no situation on that. So um <coughs> before he um finished, I would agree if he were helping in the situation. And I'm not saying that he's not. I'm speaking from what Nick is saying. She's acting as if he's not helping at all. So on my end, I would have just went and got the clothes, especially because I know how neat going to act anyway, at least from what he make it seem like it's always a problem. So since it's always a problem, I'm going to go ahead and handle that because I don't want to hear your mouth. You know what I'm saying? Okay. She called I called her I actually texted her about the um shirt and she said the entertainment and and she said that, you I know. completely understand that this is with her mother, but ultimately if she were to have to buy something, it would come from Neek because Neek, at least from what they're saying, Neek takes care of her mother, so she would need, you know, um help with that per se. And maybe not. But I'll continue to listen. You know, she'll look and see again. Same thing she had told me on the phone verbally. She takes me that again. So she ended up having it. She ended up having a white shirt and some slacks. So she was like, um, she was going to bring it out here and stuff when she come. But she was supposed to be here that Friday, but she ended up making it that Saturday. So she was like, I'll be out there to bring it or whatever. So I'm like, okay, cool. So Friday night, Kaiser could have got dropped off to me because we were supposed to get a haircut that morning. I got a haircut that morning, 8 o'clock a.m. I text I text her mama, 8 o'clock a.m. Saturday, just to check on like where y'all was at because Saturday, I didn't get a call from y'all, I didn't talk to y'all. So Saturday morning, I text and say, good morning, you know, did y'all make it in time? Because I was just getting my haircut on the chair because Kyle was supposed to get a haircut with me if he would've got dropped off at Friday night too. I didn't get a response, so I called. I called her, she texts me back and said, one sec, okay. Now it's like 12.30 now, from 8 o'clock to like 12.30 p.m. She takes me back and um, me and her actually got on the phone because I was driving. I was going somewhere and she was talking. She was like, hey, Splane, um, we just leaving out that. We just leaving from the house. I end up leaving his stuff. So now I'm driving. I'm like, dang. So now we on the phone and I'm like, well, I'm about to go run to Target right quick or run. I'm about to run to the store right quick and try to go find him some stuff last minute because she on the road on her way to Houston. By the time she get out here, it's probably going to be late. If you left at 12, you'll get here like around 5, 6 o'clock. I, I know how far it is. PM. So me and her was talking. She was like, okay, cool. So I was going to the store, but then at the same time that same day, I had my whole day planned. I had to meet the event planner. I had to make sure the building was straight. I had to put the stuff in there. My whole day was already like tied up. So I ended up texting her back because I had told her I can go run and get. Uh uh. What was Lena doing? Now, I, I understand your day was tied up. You was handling your business. I was raised in a household where I had a mom who was helping with raising me. She would have had to go get my clothes. I understand she got new babies and all that. But my son is your baby too. So why she... And I, I really, I'm answering... Not answering. I'm speaking from what I know Nick is thinking. Just because I'm a woman. I know what she's thinking. And I know what all of you women are thinking. So that's where I'm coming from. Like, baby, I can't make it. I, I, you know I got to handle the planner. You know I got to handle the lot. I know you got to get dressed and all that. Go pick up something for my son. But you know what's so crazy nowadays? You can order it. Let me look at Because we ain't going nowhere but Target right quick. You know what I'm saying? Um, Black slacks and a white shirt. Let me order this right quick. Now, he may not have had the mental capacity in that moment. But say, for instance, Lena doing her hair, she doing her makeup, she handling her business. What you can do is pause for a second, order my son some clothes. Because you're supposed to be my fiance, so handle that. You feel me? I'm just saying, I know y'all women are thinking that, and I know Nick is thinking the same thing. 
I know. Get it, but get it, but then she ended up saying like, you know, she'll go to the store and she's okay. She'll go to the store and she'll go find them something, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm like, all right, bet. So that whole, after that situation of me and her talking now, I have not once talked to me. I have not talked to me. We haven't called, she haven't called me. She haven't asked me no questions. She ain't say none of that to me. She, me and her ain't even talked that whole Saturday, me and her mama was talking. And the mama had hit me up again, just you know, getting it um, situated. So she was saying like, she was gonna go to the store, which she did. She went to the store herself to get him some stuff. White shirt, some slacks. It was the simplest thing that he needed to match his sisters. His sisters them had on white little dresses that they been having. All he needed was white shirt, black slacks, just to match them and just have a good time. That's when she told me she was gonna go to the store and get his stuff and she got his stuff. That's what she told me. She said she went and got his shirt, she went and got his pants, she went and got his outfit. Um, from that point on, I don't know from her house or what she said of Neek seeing the clothes and didn't like the clothes that she had got for her Kaiser. And then Neek asked her what type of party it was. And I did tell her that it was an engagement party like after the fact, but I didn't know that I had to say like, hey, I'm having an engagement party. That was really much it. I didn't know I had to go in so much into details of depth on saying like I'm having an engagement party and all. Why wouldn't you want to say? And I'm only asking because <clears throat> she needs to know how to dress him because she being Neek, you know her, right? And I, I hate that men don't think this way because drama could be subsided before it even starts. But me just being a woman and, you know, being a woman but thinking like a man, you know what I'm saying? I kind of have that gift to kind of see both sides. So as a woman, it's like, what's going on? Cause as a man, I would have been like my engagement party, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> having my engagement party. You know what I'm saying? I got to handle that right quick. But all I want him to have on is a white shirt and some slacks. I just want to know if King know if he would have bought it himself, would we be here? Like, like real shit. And if I was in his face, I would say that. And I like to tell y'all that because people think like, I don't know, niggas shouldn't be told the truth. And I think that they should be told the whole truth and nothing but the truth like you got. Because they could really, really, and I, I don't want this to ever happen again. So it could really subside a lot of drama, 1222 in the chat. So had he bought that motherfucker, we wouldn't even be here. Had he bought it, Neek wouldn't have felt like she needed to buy extra, which is, you know, something that she decided to do, which is something that she would have to take accountability for. But King would have to take accountability for putting all of them in this situation because it just wasn't needed. You know, had he went and picked them up, he would have been on time for the haircut. Or had he got him a flight, whatever. Um... He would have been on time for the haircut. I, me, I would have had to go on ahead and get him. I know y'all be late. They already told us, Neek, be late. Sometimes they say they pulling up at this time. They pull up two days later. I already know you be late. You already know all of these things. You know her, right? We know her because y'all have said this countless times. So, boom, I don't want to deal with this drama. And I hope uh, King take note of this. And not specifically what I'm saying, just the situation. Next time, let me go get him. That way, Saturday, we waking up. Ah, ah, son, I'm so happy you with me. I'm about to marry. I just, da, 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 da. I'm going to get my hair cut. You're going to get your hair cut. We vibe out for the day, handle business like men. And then we're going to have this party. Everything would have been good. But no, now uh, Neek is included. And now Neek feel like, damn, nigga, you don't appreciate what I did? Which she has the right to feel because that whole day wasn't on her. If it was about you and Lena, that's what it should have been about. Them kids wouldn't even been there. From, from what y'all saying, like, bro, it was about us. Bet. Why the hell are the kids there? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. You know, I, I felt like that was a fuck them kids moment. Fuck them kids. So what they there for? I'm not even about to stress on getting you a dress and stressing on getting any of y'all anything. This by me and her. So, you know, I'm going to keep listening. All that. So, all long as the Kaiser was straight and had what he had and needed and he was going to come to me, 
I think that all really had mattered. After she brought the clothes that she had got for Kaiser to Neek, Neek didn't like the clothes that she got her, so Neek took it upon herself to go to the store and go get a better outfit that she said that she wanted to go do for him. Now, like I said, I didn't talk to Neek. I haven't had a conversation with Neek. My kid was with your mama. Last time me and her talk was after Easter. She dropped Kaiser Harf here, me and Neek. Okay, I'm sorry. I see where the drama is. I see it. That nigga said Neek took it upon herself to change the outfit. <laughs> you ain't have to do all that. And when Neek is coming from, like, damn, nigga, but I did. You know? I want it better for him. I wanted him to... Um, it, it, it gives me... She had a vision of him, like... And he's already handsome, right? But what I mean is she wanted him to be saucy that day. A handsome saucy. Like, she wanted him to have his tux on or his, his suit. You know what I'm saying? Dressed up towel you know with his hair cut looking cute like like the son he's supposed to look like i think that was her vision his vision was a little more simpler than that um which is okay that's his prerogative but had he went and just kind of planned it out it wouldn't have been all that extra coming from neek's side but see now neek don't feel appreciated granted she did more than what was asked which is on her which she should learn from Stop doing extra shit you ain't got to do. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't have done nothing extra. I understand that that was personal for you, but it was more personal for King because he wanted it to be a certain way and you kind of inserted yourself in that because technically he was handling it with your mama. You know what I'm saying? But she don't feel appreciated. He feel like she do too much. Got it. He had a face-to-face -face and he came to my Also, I want to put this out there. I co-parent with children. So, yeah, I know a good, uh, uh, I know a lot. <laughs> we talked outside. It was just me and her outside. She dropped Kaiser off. We had a good long talk for like maybe an hour of us just talking, saying things. Cause we don't see each other like that and we don't talk like that towards each other. But every time we do talk or have a situation, we always get, we always bump heads. We always get into an argument. We always get into a fuss or something that she don't like. Something I see why. in her aspect of it. So when we had a conversation in person, I even elaborated and told her about, told her don't use my name no more in videos. I told her every time we just had a conversation about stuff that y'all really don't know about, but it was just some, just to clear the air up on me and her and about some stuff that we just had on our shoulders too. You know, she told me that she was gonna leave out the country. She was gonna leave out the country, go do what she was gonna go do. So that's why what made me like, okay, I'm gonna just talk to your mama about the situation because that's who had, a, you, wasn't, you wasn't around Kaiser. Like you was not around Kaiser at all for me to even talk to you, have a conversation with him. All I know, he was coming to the party. Now, if I would have left Kaiser out the party, I didn't bring Kaiser to the party, if Kaiser didn't make the party anything, people would have been definitely like on a whole different side. She would have been on a whole different side. But by me, was sure. confirmed and told me that he had an outfit, outfit, but then your mama went back out and got him an outfit, but you didn't like the outfit that your mama got. So you went out your way your own time and got him a better outfit, which is cool. But then you made a video at the same time, getting the clothes and kind of explaining to people that you didn't know about you me, know about the party. You was getting, a, to me it sounded like you was complaining. Then she ended up texting me back like later on in the day and was like, hey, what time does it end? Neek didn't know anything about it and she wants me to get Kaiser a better outfit because it's a big event. So she, so your mama just told you about the party, that it was an engagement party and you took it upon yourself to go get an outfit, which is cool. Cause that's what, if you helping, you helping. I appreciate that and I'm thankful for that. I thank you for that. If you was helping for that on that note, the next message that I got from her mom when I, it was, I told her it was an engagement party and she said Kaiser needs better shoes and something more dressier. She said, why you didn't get his outfit when you got yours, hello? Which is a good question. And it was a LOL. But you know, that ain't even my issue right now. I see well, right here, y'all can't see it cause this damn thing right there, but it's he's saying we going to the mall. Now, <laughs> on some co-parents and shit, you got me running around Houston after I done drove six hours. I'm just letting you know where I'm going to talk about both sides. You taking your ass to the mall after I drove here six hours. I'm tired and I got to hurry up and find him something. And you going to the mall? Oh, that would have pissed me off. <laughs> ha! That ain't. Then she takes me again and says, I think we going to the mall to get Kaiser outfit. So to sum that up, 
I was going to get Kaiser an outfit. I had a plan on what outfit I wanted Kaiser to get, but before I went to go buy an outfit, I just like, it's like, hey, let me ask. Let me just call and ask. Let me call and ask and just say, hey, do you got this? I ain't gonna lie. As a man, and I'm not speaking for him, I'm talking about if I were a man. I'm not, but if I was. I ain't gonna lie, me and my son would have had on the same suit. I think that's like everybody's like, I thought. That would be like everybody's thing, like me and my son gonna look alike type shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna get like like I would have it to where me and my son look the same, all the girls look the same, you know? Um, so if the girls have on white, we would have on black, you know? Or if they have gone on cream, we'll have on peach, because it looked like he had on like peach that day. I think that's where Nick was coming from, to be honest with you. Like, nigga, why the hell you ain't get it the same day? Hell going on. It was told to me, hey, I'm going to look and see. I'm going to come again. Yeah, I have it. The day of the party, I didn't, like, after I, she's confirmed to say she have it. Okay, cool. The day of the party, it was said she left it at 1230. I text at 8 a.m. that morning. She said that she left it. So from that whole time, I had in my head that he had it before I went to go get it. Now, if anybody would have told me anything a day before, uh, anything, I would have definitely went and got him his stuff. I would have definitely went and got him his stuff without no big problem, without no problem. Personally, from what I caught from that, is when after she said that, I definitely, like, before I even texted back, I looked around and was like, why you ain't tell her that? Like, why you ain't tell her? Like, why you ain't telling her that it was a party or we and you talking about this or, like, it's handled between me and you? Miscommunication, bad communication. Bad, bad, bad communication. Like, and that's that's even more of a reason why he should have just handled that shit. I'm I'm gonna keep saying that because I hope he get it this time to handle that shit, bro. I I would never ask that woman to come drop him off. I would never ask Neek to drop him off. I wouldn't ask them to buy him a motherfucking burger before they dropped him off to me. I'm going to get him because I hate, believe it or not, contrary to what I react to every day, I hate drama. <laughs> and you know it's coming because you know how these people are and they know how you are. Y'all know each other. Y'all know, known each other for more than two decades, literally. You know what I'm saying? Literally. So... Or a decade and a half or something like that. But a long ass time. So y'all know each other. I'm exaggerating on the decade. It's because they, they went in, what was it, high school, middle school? I'm going to say 10 years. At least 10 years. But anyhow, y'all know each other. So I only think I did, instead of me like saying anything, love for anything like that, I just sent them, I just sent them the address. Because they said they was going to the mall and stuff. So I was like, okay, thank you and stuff. And I sent them the address on where we was at. Oh, they said they were going to the mall. I missed that too. My fault, y'all. So So she was going to the mall. Got it. I know y'all like, Neat, no, he wasn't going to the mall. She was going to the mall. If King watched, he like, bitch, she wasn't. She was, it was, bitch, she was going. All right, I my fault. I heard nothing about that that whole day. Lena mom, I mean, Neat mama came through. She dropped Kaza off. I was so excited. I saw Kaza. He looked at handsome. I was like, what's up, man? Um, nothing was said to me. Nothing was told to me. Even Neek Mama, I even let her get a drink from the bar because she dropped Kaza off. You know, it was all good vibes. She told me I looked at nice. She told Lena she looked at nice. Came in the party, so I looked it. She dropped them off. Me and her talked to when he was going to come back and get them. She was going to come back the same day, the same night to come pick him up for me because I was going to do something else later because after the angle I, after the party, I was I was faded. I ain't gonna count. I was I was faded. It's too many shots. But she came in after the party and stuff. Kaiser had a good time. Um, he was dancing. It was nothing left. No vibes. Nobody takes my phone. I haven't talked to Neek still. That's even more reason why um her mama would have had to go pick him up. Cause I'd rather him not drive faded. But I know I know y'all. <laughs> y'all in the comments right now like, but they had to take their kids home. Uh, y'all are really the problem more than anything. Like, I don't even think they would feel this way. Like, it'd even be that deep if every time she said something, um, it wouldn't be an issue. Like, when I said that Nick had, 
you know, she threw a little shade. Everybody in my comments like the truth can't be shade, which is true. What she said was, nigga, I got to hurry up and get him something because King didn't. Um, So instantly that sent everybody off like, what you mean he didn't? King, why the hell you ain't, you know, it's a messy situation. And maybe Nick just be talking and I ain't paying that shit no attention. I don't know. Um, I feel like she, she just be talking, you know, some people just chat and I feel like she was just chatting. Also, I feel like she's aggravated at the fact, um, that if this is true, she, he, she don't feel like he's helping her. So that goes back to the shade, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, okay. No conversations or anything about nothing. She came back and picked up Kaiser. I gave Kaiser a tour and they left. Um, I told Kyle I was heading to Thailand to go do what I had to go do in person. He understood that. He knew that. He had fun. Yeah, something back, something back. And next thing you know, I, by the time I packed my stuff, got on the flight, flew a whole... He said something back as in she didn't come pick him up. Day, did some more stuff in Thailand. I think like three days, four days later. I'm getting spammed by so many accounts. Why you didn't go get Kaiser shirt? Sure, it's just spamming me and Lena under our videos and what we just dropped on TikTok, on Instagram, in my DMs, threats off of a video that Neek titled Got Kaiser Ready for King's Engagement Party. So this is where it gets heated on my situation because for one, off camera, I done told Neek several times not to use my name, don't use X, don't use King, don't even talk about me, don't mention me, don't, none of that. I felt like if you was helping or doing what you was doing for your video, I feel like you, it's, it's so, I'm a content creator as myself. So I feel like you said, I feel like you said things in a way for me to get rock stoned at me and bash and make it seem like you didn't know nothing about it. I didn't go get Kaza outfit. I didn't think about Kaza. I didn't think about going get him an outfit or. I or maybe that was just her perspective. Like, cause one would ask why the hell you ain't get him an outfit. However, Neek should have included uh, my mama brought him some slacks and whatever because she forgot. But clearly that, I don't know if that was communicated fully and that's what makes it messy. That's why initially you should have just did that shit yourself. And I know niggas get aggravated with that. Like, God damn, but I didn't. So here we are. Just don't do it again. If y'all come back out with something like this again, that means the lesson just was not learned. Y'all can't depend on each other. That's just not a thing. That co-parent shit y'all really think y'all got going on? <laughs> it ain't really going on. She feel as though you ain't helping her. Um, And I think he feel as though she just do too much. Which, I agree. Um, Nika is over the top because she like things over the top. Which, that's her prerogative. But you can't be over the top in my situation. And I think that's that's what he's saying. I didn't put him as a priority when I already was having it handled with your mom. Me and your mom was talking about talking through the whole situation. So I just felt like if you was with that Kaiser and Kaiser included. was with you on hand, of course I would have called you and talked to you about it because I had no choice but to talk to you if you had him to say, to ask what do he have and what and what do I need? You know, because that's like co-parenting. Like I feel like if you can go, I feel like if you can call me and ask me for something, I should be able to do the same thing on y'all and if it comes to like him needing shoes or clothes and over here and y'all want to sing it over there if you got a book sack over here or anything like that in my crib it should be like a thing to be able to help help one another out and um like i just want to say like i'm truly sorry that i didn't you know what i'm saying that i didn't go get his outfit i was supposed to and i was going to i truly was and i'm so sorry that i even came and asked anybody do he have now that's my accountability right there. Something that I needed, I should have went and got it. But like just off of the whole thing. I it be the butt. Ah, it be the butt. I never thought that it would have been this and came to this. You know what I'm saying? Can you got to know that it would have? How, how, Y'all in the comments right now say, I even know it would have. Comment that. <laughs> if you felt like it would have gotten to this point because... They just don't have a good rapport with each other when it comes to finances in Kaiser. Not, I'm going to make sure he get here and get there. Clearly, he got to eat. We got that. Eating, we got it. Getting them to A&B, we got it. It's the other shit. 
doctor's appointments she's talking about and things like that, she feels as though you're absent, you know? Um, so I just don't know how he don't feel like it would have gotten to that point is where I was saying. Cause it's just like, if I would have left Kaza out, which I wasn't going to leave Kaza out. If I would have left Kaza out of the situation, it would have been a problem. Now the problem is finding that I didn't go get him a shirt and some pants that was told to me that he had that was left behind and it he wasn't no it. problem then but for you to make a video and i told you several times don't make a video using my name then you use engagement party i haven't even dropped my own engagement party and when you say engagement party that's something between me and mine like me and my fiance at the end of the day so like that was a hard thing like i feel like our party got rained on and count like party got rained on off of something that you just wanted to put like you know your two cents in to say what you wanted to say like you didn't know this and i feel like it was whining i feel like it was complaining because people took it exactly how i took it and came back to me and was like telling me that i didn't do this and i didn't do that and I x y and z i ain't gonna lie i didn't watch the video but i did see the clip she kind of had a little giggle with it and don't get me wrong she said it more than once um i could absolutely see why people would have taken it the wrong way um and if it wasn't bothering her, it shouldn't have been said. But it came out that it was bothering her. And that's what should be addressed. Like, I understand why it's bothering you because maybe I haven't been there for this. Or maybe I haven't been there for that. And, uh, child Nick about to go off. <laughs> she is about to go off. So I had texted her off camera. Told her what I, you know, we had a whole conversation off camera. I told her to change her title, change her, change the name to whatever she changed it to. Um, still to me was like, man, you shouldn't even have used the title. You shouldn't even had. I feel like you shouldn't even had to do the video. Like, it wasn't even that serious. Like, I feel like it was just something for you. And that's definitely petty for her to name it the engagement party. To try to like shade me at the end of the day and make it seem like you know that was shady. You do more or you do this over me. And I was like, that was that wasn't even the case, you know what I'm saying? And um, also too, like Lena takes you to text her too off of an adult situation, but you can't control nobody else's actions when you. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Especially when you the man of the house, you better, so you don't have no issues. I ain't saying choke her out, put a gun in her head, but respect me. I'm king. Let me handle it. If it was handled. Maybe she wouldn't feel like she got to jump in. But see, my problem with Lena, sorry, King, you could just go ahead and slide right quick. Why you ain't going to get the outfit? That's what I want to know. <laughs> like, I, I want to know why you didn't just go get the outfit because clearly this man was busy. I mean, he is making it very clear how busy he was, and it makes a lot of sense to me. Now, if King did not communicate to Lena, bruh, um, I need an outfit. I don't see why they wouldn't have communicated because they would have, um, I would have, but I don't know if they did or if they didn't, but I know Lena should have went and got that outfit. That's what I do know. She should have got that outfit. Takes them as a, a adult and say certain things to them. And they shouldn't be talking. And they tell you certain things back as a retaliation. And it's just like, bro, it's just so immature in, in a way. Cause it's like, how can we talk to you? Cause when I talk to you in person, we get an understanding then like soon as we separate from each other and like don't talk in so long because that build, that would have miscommunication come in at because we don't both have our kid somebody else raising our kid and by the time we talk we get into the clashing and bumping hands because you don't know something or i don't know something well here's my next question too now i ain't against granny raising uh kaiser at all i'm just, <laughs> baby if i have we had it please Okay, it's hard to raise these kids. It truly takes a village and that should be appreciated. However, um, if Neek, I don't know if Neek is handling business right now. I don't know what's going on as to why Kaiser's over there. But the fact that he is, um, because he, he just said somebody else is raising our kid. So I want to know why King don't have him, you know, with that being the case. I don't know if Neek said that he can't. That part I'm not sure about. Um, let me know if y'all know down in the comments about that situation. So, um, I really don't. I think that's where the party got spoiled at, and um, it was just a bad situation on that on that note. And then so many different things that's um, 
was said afterwards. Like I never go to her and disrespect her, never call her her name, never none of that. I just tell her what it is and it's a fact, you know what I'm saying? The only thing was really said that I feel like that made her feel like it was so disrespectful to really say that, you know, she don't be with her kid. She don't be with Kaza like that. And if she do be with him like that, you know, she do what she do for him. I do what I do for him and stuff when he with me. I don't have to like, you know what I'm saying? Like I feel like nobody have to ask me anything for Kaiser. Cause I feel like if we all in the position that we in, I don't have to ask. Now, now King can't tell Neek that she not taking care of her kid when he ain't either. So that's, that's shady on his end, which would absolutely cause frustration because why you ain't got him. Now, if it's a situation where Neek is saying that she want him to be over with the mama and not him, it is what it is. Y'all know some women like that. I ain't going to have him. You ain't going to have me. The nigga he going with his grandma type shit. But if that ain't the case, then why you ain't got him? You know, uh, I have questions. So I'll be able to talk about this correctly. <laughs> like, I'm not, I'm not trying to be rude or anything. I literally just, I'm co-parenting too. So I can just relate on a whole nother level. And I know that in order to be transparent and certain with certain, certain things um you can't throw jabs at each other you know what i'm saying that's a jab like he like the only thing i said is you won't be having them like that which she could back you know she could say the same shit you ain't got him either you know um. ask y'all for anything you don't have to ask me for anything kaiser is well taken care of if we have a village that's what a village is supposed that's what a village is for like you can't say that and then talk shit about her not having them and the grandma got them it's, that's a village like we are, we are taking care of one kid that's that's gonna be straight and he have from each and every one of his grandparents parents even if he had my household he had y'all household he's not missing out on anything so he is actually um first of all when Kaz get older and I hope uh you know niggas think about it like this like can you imagine I was at my grandma house? Now, some people, I love to be at my grandma house, period. <laughs> um, but when I was at my grandma house, my brother and sister was at their grandma house. When we had to come back home, we came back home. Can you imagine your two sisters being at home, but you can't be over there with your daddy? I want to know what the fuck is that about? <laughs> like, that may not be even be on him. That might just be on her, but... Why he got to be at grandma's house and they get to be with you? Now, I understand Neek might need a moment, but what is that about? Um, I think on that note with that and then too, like just with the Lena situation of hugging on live and saying what she said, it was just like, bro, like before we even like made a post, we talked to her off camera and then it was another video being made. Like we talked to her off camera. And like, I text her and I say what I had to say to her. And you know what I'm saying? Then her and Neek was talking. They said what they had to say to each other. Yeah, like that was really like, that was our moment. And we felt really shitty off of our vacation. That's why we hadn't posted like our engagement party because it was like, a, we had this whole plan of like, wait till our trip and we gonna get back home and drop all our videos. And then we'll give y'all an engagement party because we was coming off that vibe. It was coming off that happiness. We was coming off that love and how everything came together how we wanted it to come besides making it about a small situation always about like kaiser or elena don't like kaiser or elena this or it's always like something like that and it'd be like picking and picking and like it, that's not the case like i wouldn't be with somebody like truthfully i would not be with somebody that don't like that don't have no respect for my kid like i would not be with a person like that at all like i would not and i i see how type of i see what type of girl this girl is what all my kids from ocean olenia to kaiser when he come around the way she even you know what i'm saying just do off of like heart lady mother instincts like i feel like anybody lady mother instincts would have got that outfit this this lena situation I think she is absolutely crossing boundaries. And I just feel like if boundaries going to be crossed, at least fully be what you supposed to hold up to, which is you stepmama for him. 
You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. You mama for him, the woman that raised me, that's my mama. You know, I call her mama. Um, and if I didn't have it, she would have had to go get it. If my daddy couldn't do it, she would have had to go do it. Period. Um, it ain't going to be no, he living with his grandma, but y'all two over here, he is not about to get older and, and ha have an issue with that. No, ma'am. He going to be over here. I don't know what agreement they got. I don't know if they went to court or what's going on, but Nick, if you can't do it right now, I got you. I got you. That's, that's co-parenting. That's, that's real. Um, that's a real agreement right there. Who have a kid or have like a step kid or whatever, man, treat that kid with love. Like it's one of yours. Like I would, I would hate for somebody to be so evil in heart to even do anything to any little child or, Manipulate a situation for a for a little child, and I don't, I don't I don't really be agreeing on that because, like, if I had hidden cameras on my life, behind closed doors, bro, I wish people could really just see that and really just see how pure my how pure I am and how pure my household is and how pure I have good people around me and how how like like such a I'm, I'm like it's to the point, bro. I know I'm a good father. I came from like I came from a good home. I came. My dad and my mama been together since. 27 years plus I still see my mom and dad together so I know what it's like to be a man and know what it's like to have a father and know how to teach what's been taught to me even better so that's my big thing on that part of like even too like when we text her and had our conversation and stuff and you know another video was being made of somebody saying like body shaming and all those things I just feel like none of that was really necessary to even like do you know what I'm saying I feel like all that is just like weird and fake you know what I'm saying? Because it's just like women, I feel like women can't be women no more when they have kids. I feel like women have to get like in this way of like making their mind think like I have to get my body done now because my body not going to shake back. You know what I'm saying? It's like a lot of women out here that suffer with that. You know what I'm saying? And it's not a bad thing. It's just a real life situation because decades, years beforehand, it was never surgery. People had to do it, deal with their body, how they deal with it. And it's out of you to do, do what you want to do with it. People get people then got their body done three times, four times, several times to make so make sure they self is perfect. Make self make oh, sure damn. they that was shade. Self is together <laughs> and straight. I'm sorry, you know? I just called shade. <laughs> um, yeah, like too, like more things were said even about like my kid birthday party that was like last year. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody paying for that, like bro. Truthfully, like meet mama through that party. Meet mama through that whole party. And I got messages and proof of me and Lana asking Jacinda, meet mama, do she need anything from us? Do she want us to bring anything? That party was so last minute. That's why I was thrown at Neek's mama. The party was so last minute. We were supposed to do something else. Actually, they cause of birthday was supposed to be originated in Orlando, Florida, because Neek had what she had going on with the basketball, whatever, wild stuff going on. And that got canceled on that. It was just too much, too much going on on that. So Jacinda was like, she'll throw the party at her house. We text and ask, do y'all need us to bring anything? We do, you know, I'm like, what it look like me not pulling up to my own kid's birthday party at the grandparent house. And I'm invited and I'm told to come. I asked, what do I need to do with what, what? Nobody said anything to me. Everything was already handled. They actually wanted me to be in a Spider-Man suit. I even just talked to um Neek. Before I make this video and even said the same thing to her, it's like, I feel like y'all try to play me then. If somebody paid for the party or whatever and nobody told me it, but just last minute, like it's so last year. He don't even understand. <clears throat> King, she not asking you because, and this is what it seems, because I could be absolutely wrong, but what it seems is she not asking you because it don't get done anyway. Like you said, basically she got to ask you. We had that, that situation. Like, we, you gotta, like, never mind. You said, Do y'all need anything? Not, I'm gonna pull up with. And I just think that's just the type of person he is. But I think the type of person that Neek wants, uh, co parenting wise, is to be like, I'm bringing, or we're gonna do this, you know? And I think Mr. Bacon is a nigga that's like, what's going on? Cause I am. What what they say the daddy got going on? Oh, he um he say he's just gonna do a little, oh, a little, oh, all right. Well, I'ma do this. 
<laughs> now, I don't care if his is little or big. I'm not trying to make mine bigger than yours. None of that. But I'm going to do what I want to do for my uh my step. You know what I'm saying? Or my child. You know? Because it's a village, so he mine. Just like Lena supposed to play her part, so is Mr. Bacon. You know what I'm saying? So he said, I'm going to handle that. You know? And that's what he did. So now you're coming in like, do y'all need anything? Nigga, no, we don't need shit from you. Pull up. Just pull up. And I, I, that's how women think. Just pull up, nigga, because you, you, I could see it now. You the daddy. You supposed to have this plan. Da, da, da. Granted, Orlando went wrong and whatever the case may be. Um, And I feel like with him, he just kind of like, man, I'm just, <laughs> I'm going to jump in where I fit in type shit. Um, I feel like he's not trying to come with too much aggression and things like that because that happens. Like, goddamn, you already got him oh, at his grandma's house and da da da. I ain't putting, I, ain't, I don't feel like I'm putting in enough, whatever. And yeah, man, this is not healthy. This is not healthy at all. And y'all just saying that just out of a heat of a moment, off of one small thing. So much being said off of a t shirt and some slacks that somebody had to go get. I really wish me it's more than you, t -shirts. like, I really wish you would have texted me yourself and said, hey, can you cash at me? Can you send me some money for me, for me to send to you to go even get it if I was, if you was going out your way to get Kaiser outfit? Y'all hear that? He rather her text him. She rather him just send the shit. That's huge miscommunication. And Unfortunately, we don't work in relationships because of our love languages. She's a, it seems, a acts of service type of person. Bro, just do it. You know what I'm saying? I know she be saying, why don't you just do the shit, you know? And he's the type that's a little more like, I got you, but you got to tell me what you need, though. I can't get it to you and I don't know what you need. And that's okay that he thinks that way. But they won't get along that way. I think that he wants to help. I just think that he doesn't know where to step in at, per se, I feel like. Now, I can't explain these doctor visits and all that. Um, but I feel like that is the, that's the, that's where we are at a disarray. Bruh, just tell me what the fuck you need help at. God damn, it's like you just bitching. And she like, I'm bitching because you should just already know and you should just already do it. I'm telling you, this is petty. And that's where y'all are right now. Them egos, everybody ego high, except Mr. Bacon. <laughs> he seems unbothered over there. But everybody else is like, come on, bro, bring it down. Y'all got to do it for him anyway. Or, you know, things are going to go the way you don't want them to go. He is going to act the way you don't want him to act. And I'm talking about Kaiser. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, man, this sucks. Even a mom, I could have sent money, I could have whatever, like however y'all wanted to play it, it could have been played that way. Instead of like, like later on, like it, it became a problem that I didn't even see a problem in. I mean, I'm so, I'm still puzzled how this is even like a topic, like how I'm right now explaining myself. And right now I'm sitting here trying to figure out like how am I, like why am I, you know, like damn, I got to really explain myself. You don't understand. And I hate doing that because it's like, this is a whole new year. And I thought like since we came together, since we came together and stuff and made videos together, I thought like we'll be straight. But I'll, ever since then, it's like we really don't talk to each other because you don't have our kid like that. Kazu always with your mom. And if we do talk, if you have him, I might call you and talk to him like here and there, so and so. But like we always get into an argument and a disagreement about a small situation. So, um, yeah. Let's see what well, he think is small. She think is big. And that's another problem. I just want to come here, man, just say, man, publicly, publicly speaking, whatever y'all don't hear me and her say off camera towards each other face to face, I'm going to say this, please don't use my name in any video. Don't mention me in any video. Don't use nothing dealing with me in any of your videos when it comes to what's going on in my household, with my household, you know what I'm saying? What I got going on. Don't use my name. I just feel like you should have never used the engagement party as a title for you. Like, that ain't... I agree. And clearly, um, I also feel like she was kind of being petty because Lena brought up the school shit. 
that ain't even your function. That was not even your function. That's not even your place and space to even make a video like that. I, mean, I don't know, like something else. Not King's engagement party after I told you off camera so many times, stop using my name. And I think that's where it's like going over people's heads. Like I said that so many times and for you to use it and people are where they're at now, coming at me about something that they know nothing of, you didn't know nothing about because I was having a conversation with your mama and then your mama was handling it. And she, your mama told you last minute, you didn't like the outfit that your mama got. Your mama got Kaiser, so you went upon yourself to go get another outfit to make a video about it, to say what you had. You ain't have to make no video about it. Like you could have just left it what it was if you was helping. And I really wish you would have sent me, asked me, or text me and said, hey, can you cash at me or anything? And I definitely. I, I, I'm sorry. He is totally, and I mean, utterly missing it. Like. I got to read these comments, but it's it's just, King, it wouldn't have been your mama or you if you just handled it. <laughs> and I ain't going to lie, that's kind of where I would have kept it at. I wouldn't even, because it, it, from what you're saying, it sounds like you still don't get it for real, you know? Um, It sounds like... You you just kind of standing on business of where you were at with it, you know? But she is coming from a total different place because y'all are not she shouldn't have she shouldn't have been involved at all. If you would have handled it, it you you wouldn't have to be like your mama, you it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a lot of you you use had I, I I just handled that shit you know what I'm saying and I like I would keep reiterating that because I would want everybody to know I got the point or at least her shit um but they're gonna keep having this problem y'all unfortunately it's gonna keep being an issue I want to sign that for you because you know that wouldn't have been a problem oh yeah another thing too I heard I did I just sent your mama some money for Kaiser spring clothes you just came over here to me and told me the situation on why I had to send two hundred dollars off your behalf because you taking care of that side of home, which is cool. And I sent that to your mama to make sure Kaiser was straight. And if anything else anybody else need from me, I'm never hiding. You can always call and say, "Hey, I need this or that." Close mouth, don't get fed. If we all having it, you shouldn't have to come to me, and I shouldn't have to come to you. Because if he's in your house, if he's in your possession. I know for a fact Kaiser is taken care of. As much as you know what Kaiser with me and I have him, Kaiser is well taken care of because I never call or ask for anything for when it comes to him about anything. Or Kaiser need this or I need food in my house for Kaiser or Kaiser need some clothes. Y'all know another misunderstanding? Neek did say when Kaiser, she sent Kaiser to King's house, if I ain't mistaken, she asked him to buy him some more clothes while he was at his house but instead he sent him back to the mother her mama with no new clothes and cashed apt her a hundred dollars and neat shouldn't have been worried about what clothes he had at his house and let me know if y'all agree or disagree on that because Quite frankly, that ain't none of my business. Now, at one point in my situation, um, the kids was over there for the summer. And off the strength of I don't want to hear shit, I bought everything. Do you hear me? You're at a whole nother house. I don't give a fuck. I send clothes, uh, socks, panties, bras, pads, nigga food. Okay, um, for the summer, because you're not going to say I didn't play my part. But see, I'm, I'm an overachiever, too. I'm, I ain't got time for that shit. I got too much shit to do. You know what I'm saying? So you ain't going to be able to one-up me on Nathaniel, because it's already done. You know what I'm saying? Done. Benito. Uh, you say you need what? Oh, I just sent that. <laughs> it's no way. Oh, they need that? That's crazy because I just cashed at them not too long ago. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got time. I just want him to learn that part of it. And I just, I don't think he get it. And granted, Nick need to learn a lot too. But I'm just saying, we talking about him? 
if, if he would just handle that side of things, Neek probably still has something to say, but at least you know you handled your business, bro. Because it ain't about what Neek think. It ain't about how Neek feel, for real. It's about him handling his business with his own uh, child. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. I don't do that because that's my responsibility. Nobody else's. I know I made the baby with you, but I still take accountability of my own responsibilities with or without you. So that's just how I feel about that. But um, yeah, I just it's just so much that was just jibber jabber, and I'm just here now just to clear the air up for my people. And I'm so sorry that it's all over the way. Um, that's a lot that I haven't said because don't need to be said. You know, it's just really just to like clear the air, bro. Because a lot of people was DMing and saying crazy things, even my own people that I'm building from scratch. That's like, you just don't know what I go through as a man. One man between two women, that's a daughter and a mama. One man with one kid. And that's how I feel about that. So, I am always say that and they know I say that. So, I'll see y'all in the next video. I'll see y'all next time. <sighs> I will be deleting this video. I will be deleting this video, so. You know the shit getting reacted to. <laughs> Eat it up. Do what you do. Do what you feel. I'm so drama free. I don't want this in my life. So I definitely will be deleting this video as soon as I can. You might have more questions about why Kaz are not with me for school year. I tried multiple times. Okay, because I sure was wondering. Okay, that's it. Ah, we have messages. What schools have you applied for for Kaza? I told you I wanted to be involved in the process of looking for his schools out here in Houston and have a say so. I was sleeping, send him. He texted her at 619. She texted him the next day. Okay. What's up? I'm reaching out uh, to seeing if you looked into any schools for Kaza in Houston. See, King, you got to look for the schools. But all right. Hey, yes, I'm in the process. <clears throat> I'll send you a few. Okay, bet I'm here. Just send them once you get a chance. Yeah, niggas don't get it. <laughs> okay. Also, the summer Kaza can live with me through the break. And when school starts back for him, you can have him in your household for school. Hey, and okay, Easter break is fine, but he will not be staying with you for the summer. We have to share him because I also wasn't able to spend much time with him for the school year so we could do week by week. Okay, cool on Easter break, but to some I believe that is the best for him to be in my household so we can have our one-on-ones uh, since he was at your mom's the whole school year, right? Plus, that'll be a great time for me installing myself into him as his father you can still get him of course it won't be confusing doing school time because we both had our own time I know that but still I was looking forward to spending time with with him this summer he's been at my mom's he been at my mom's not mine's oh I have to take her to court would you like us to bring anything or need help with anything? Maybe we can come the day before to help set up. Yes, playing in a Spider-Man outfit. Uh, yes, I didn't hire a decorator because they all get on my nerves, LOL. So I'll be doing the decor myself. You can definitely come help me, LOL. Okay, yes, we'll come help the day before. Did you get catering? Me and Neek won't get in town to the second and the party is on the third. So I need help I can get. We will be there for sure. Okay. So he's absolutely trying. Um, he's trying. Yes, he's trying. But it's, 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 okay. I would take it a court. <laughs> I would take her to court. You know, King, that's so crazy because had you put that throughout the video, we wouldn't, we wouldn't even be here right now. But whatever. I, I have good intentions with what I'm saying. I have gone through this shit, uh, still co-parenting through this shit. Uh, it's no manual for it. We all doing what we got to do um, to, you know, handle these kids. But that was my whole question the entire time. Why is he not with you? And it's because she is calling the shots. So with that being said, I would take her ass to court. You better get you better get your CJ so cool on <laughs> real shit because 
you're not going to get the opportunities you want with him because she wants the show to go the way she wants the show to go. And I feel like because she don't want him to be around Lena, which it seems I could be absolutely wrong, but that's what it seems like. Um, but yeah, y'all gonna have to go to court cause she's kind of deciding what she wants to do and you kind of dealing with it. And I think you're dealing with it because you don't want no drama, but if you want a relationship with him, take ass to court. That's all I got. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Uh, I'm done with this video. I'm not a co-parenting guru, but I am um, a person that knows how to alleviate drama if need be. At least I've learned to be. Um, and a lot of things are very simple and it's they're self-inflicted because we bring it on our damn selves. Okay. Um, I would take her or I would take her to court or they need to have an agreement to go to court. One of the two, because he needs to be able to get the time that he wants and needs with his son. And it's just no way that you're going to let him come over with me for Easter break. And that's it. Just because he was at school at your mom's house. And she feels as though King need to stop what he doing to go to Baton Rouge, wherever her mom live. I, I'm not sure, but wherever that is. um, To be with him for a while or to see him visit him and things like that. Not realizing that he got his own motion and he do have to handle his business. Um, and that's your call. That's your play. You want him over there. That's not what he wants. It seems. However, if King want him to be in school, that's some shit that you got to go. You got to go look up the schools. You got to go handle that. That's, that's the part you got to play. Um, and that's not what you handling. So you putting it in her hands, that's why she's doing you the way she's doing you, quite frankly. Uh, but we will go to court. So love y'all. Bye.